Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Carbor Moses. You know what time it is. We're going to be doing a full case break. We, we're, we're not sitting at the kiddies table anymore, y'all. Big boy table. We're going to be doing a full case of Heritage Baseball, all 12 boxes. And uh, and I got a little, I got a little, a little, a little funky with it. I'm giving away a box. And let's do that now. So, what I did was I put a little deal together where if you help me fill a full case break of this, I'm going to give away a box to somebody. So, let's do that now. Let me just hit the good old copy and the good old paste. Let's roll the die, see how many times we're going to go. Pick the number seven. Ooh. Lucky number seven. We're going to random the name seven times. The top name in the list randomizer is going to win a box of Heritage all to themselves. And I'll even let you pick it. Here we go. If they're in the room, that is. Otherwise, I'm just going to give you box number seven. All right. Good luck, peeps. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six and the money shot. Seven. Boom. Is going to Edward. Eddie G wins the box. He wins the box. Edward, are you in the room? If you are, let me know which box you want. And I will set it aside for you. Otherwise... You are going to get box number seven. Because that's what the dice roll said. So if you are in the room, make yourself known. Everyone else, sorry guys, did not win the box. But do keep in mind, you have five other teams. Because you just got a divisional. That's what we're doing right now. So uh, let's actually take that down. That's true. I that yo, some people just have all the luck. What can I say? Alright, so there it is on the screen for you. I didn't I didn't give him anything, Mike. I did not give him anything. You know what they say? The only way to be in the only way to win it is to be in it. You know what I'm saying? They also say that if you don't if you don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. So keep that in mind. Now, I am giving away a box when I fill the PYT as well. So, uh, maybe get a team in that. And uh, maybe the Cardboard Gods will smile on you. Listen, I got the Blue Jays available for $17. You got to pay to play. This is true. This is indeed true. Bring on the hotness. And as always, good luck, everybody. <laughs> Boom. Well, Gary, you can't win them all. You know this, Gary. You know this. Damn, Chris is going in. I guess you guys want me to stay till like 6 in the morning. I have no problem doing that as long as we keep filling breaks. All right, D7s, we about to warm you up with the hits right now, baby. Well, Gary, if you're in the if you're in the PYT in the store, you also have a chance to win one there. I'm not sure if you bought a team in the PYT, but I'm also doing a box giveaway on that too. <laughs> I hear you, Gary. All right. Well, good luck, peeps. And uh, let's start this journey called Heritage. I'm going to be here a while. I'm still going to try to do this as quickly as I can, but it's still going to take me a minute. Wow. 
Well, Chris, uh, I gotta tell you, it's uh, it ain't easy, but somebody's gotta do it, you know. And here we go. We get a poster in the first one. It's going to the Giants and whatever division they belong in. Uh, I'll show the poster off here in a bit. Let's put this away. What to do, Troy? Let's show off the. Uh... Yeah, this is a full case, Chris. This is a full caser. Just show off the uh... the poster here a little bit, which is pretty dope. They're they're not like one per case kind of deal. But they're pretty sweet. That's the third poster I've hit. Got the Giants on this thing. You know, of course, those aren't like actual autographs. It's probably like auto pen business. But still pretty cool. Hanged it up on your wall. And they're numbered too. 30, uh, this was numbered 24 out of 30. So, I don't know, you might, if you even want to, I don't know why you would want to sell something this cool, but I guess you could if you wanted to. You know, there's not that many of them, so there you go. And, uh, let's open this stuff up. I put these the wrong way. Where are we at with this stuff? Last I checked, down to seven. I think somebody else picked up another team just now. Getting hot. Yeah, whatever. See where we're at in this stout. The rays are gone. Chris picked up the rays. So that leaves six teams. A. Hey. Move that up. There you go. Six teams left in the full caser of this stuff. If you guys are, are into uh, cruel and unusual punishment, fill it up, people. Who do I have watching right now? I, I see 13 people watching on YouTube. I got a few over on Breakers, D. Simmons, Idaho Potato, Jam, and J. Cola. What up? And I got my peeps over on YouTube as well. I got six teams left in the PYT, guys. Got Blue Jays, Braves, Giants, Phillies, Rangers, and the Rockies in that as well. So, talk to me, baby. Let's feel it. What is it, like 1 o'clock when I started this thing? I want to see if I can get it done to like an hour and a half. I mean, I'm not necessarily going to be flying through it, but still got to give it some time. It needs that. It needs that tender loving care.
right, let's see what we got. Well, starting us off for the Mets, David Wright, the patch. Right there. Got straight up Dodgers there. Can I lower this some or what? There we go. That's perfect. Rockies on there. Deckel for Manny Machado. Orioles. Let me separate that. Yeah, caught one. Base short print. Yasmani Grandal. Dodgers. I'm decent at catching them, but the only way to know for sure is to look at the back of the card. And that would take forever. D. Simmons, what part of the country do you live in, dude? Damn, two inches of snow. I, I, I mean, I would just stay home. It gets to sixty-five, and I'm already like, like five layers of clothing on. Uh, I can't deal with the cold. In New Central New York, oof, probably getting bombarded now. What's the weather looking like out there right now? What do they call that? A bomb cyclone? That's kind of crazy. Chris Sale, Deckel for the Red Sox. Whatever happened to just a straight up blizzard? Now they got now they call it a bomb cyclone or whatever. Yeah, Rockies in the middle. 28 degrees? Oh, hell no. How long you been living out there, dude? Bradley Zimmer of the Indians. That's number to 569. 12 more inches coming on Wednesday. That's what I told my girlfriend the other day. <laughs> oh! I'm just kidding. I don't have a girlfriend. Um, flashback card. Got to random that. I could have helped myself. I couldn't have helped myself. Man, some of these I haven't seen, but doesn't mean that they're a short print. This one is. Well, it's not a short print, but it is an, it is an action image. Jose Altuve. Astros. Lakers lost after you guys destroyed my heat. Who'd they lose to? Lakers have been playing pretty good basketball lately, actually. All right, that's one box down. Seven years. Where are you from originally, D. Simmons? They lost to the Blazers. Well, there you go, dude. Did Damian Lillard go off? Did he have, like, a crazy game? That guy's a beast. Oh, so you've been around. You so you're a New York boy through and through, D Sims, huh? I've I've never so much as well. I've I've driven past, but I've never actually like gone to visit. Damn, D Lillard went out for forty two. That guy's a beast. That is probably the most slept on superstar in the league, Damian Lillard. He's my favorite basketball player in the league right now. Over Russ, over KD, over LeBron, over all them boys. 
D. Lillard is my dude. That guy is cold-blooded. And he can rap. Not that that means anything. I'm just, you know, a nice little added feature. Yeah, well, D. Sims, I've, I've been living in Miami my whole life, man. So, I cannot relate to those, uh, those inches of snow. At least you guys have, like, snow days. Well, we have something similar, but, you know, it's called a hurricane. 23 points from Isaiah. That's not bad. Come on now. Come on now, Chase. That's pretty decent. 23 points. Bro, there's some basketball players that don't score 23 points in their career. Much less in a game. So that's pretty good. Funny enough is I'm actually planning a trip to Alaska. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Ola Depot! That guy's a beast. Ola Depot's a monster. I knew he was going to be nice coming out of uh, Indiana. And he's playing, you know, more or less back home, you know, from his college days. So that's, that's sick. That's awesome. He's been balling, too. Balling. That kid's, what, 22, 23? A lot of young talent in the NBA right now. A lot of young talent. I like Kuzma, but my thing with Kuzma is I feel like he's close to reaching his ceiling. Like, I don't... You know what I mean? Like, Kuzma's already kind of a complete player coming out of college. So, I mean... He doesn't really surprise me with like his athleticism. What 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 gets me with Kuzma is his mentality. You know, he's constantly attacking, which is rare for a young player, especially as a rookie. And you kind of let the game come to you, come to you type of deal, blah blah blah. No, Kuzma. Kuzma haven't seen his, hasn't seen a shot that he won't shoot yet, you know? Which has its pluses and its negatives. Of course. But, dude, I, I like Kuzma. I like Kuzma. But Lonzo, people are people are finally starting to uh, come around on Lonzo. That kid, that kid's gonna be nice, man. It's safe to say nobody there misses PG. Well, listen, PG kind of did you guys dirty, man. He kind of just bounced, almost like cool with bouncing. With that being said, I would not mind seeing him in a dolphin uniform. I mean, in a in a heat uniform. Troy Tulowitzki of the Blue Jays with the hundredth anniversary stamp on it. That's pretty nice. I hear those are numbered to like twenty five or something. They're not actually numbered though, which is the funny part. Got a random those flashback cards. A William Shatner autograph would be insane. And he is in the checklist. Of course, if I hit one of those autographs that does not belong to a team, it's going to get randomed. Hmm. Yep, base short print. Matt Weeders, Nationals. Oh, dude, it's not even... Yeah, and you're missing Miles Turner, dude. Miles Turner is a beast. Clint Frazier, Yankees, Deco. P. 
People sleep on Miles Turner, man. I feel like even Indiana fans sleep on him. That guy's a monster. And he's young as hell. He's like 21. Um, for the Yankees, it hurts to say Mike Stanton or Giancarlo Stanton, whatever he calls himself nowadays. A little chromey chrome. Yoana Cespedes. For the Mets. Oh, dude, bro. Turner is a monster. But people don't know about him because, you know, he plays for the Pacers. But people that know basketball, dude, that guy is a beast. Got a random that. Pacers got a nice little core. They do. Just got to put it together. Maybe add some more shooters, maybe another superstar, and they're going to be a little problem. There's a lot of talent in the NBA right now. Just really young talent that's going to take a few years to mature. Rizzo of the Cubs with a patch. Who's their coach out there in Indiana? You gotta gotta show gotta show props to the coach, man. Darren Collins has been out, and they're still over five hundred by ten games too. That's not bad. I mean, they do play in the East, but still, they've been playing really good ball. They might even get out of the first round, depending on how the seedings go. It's all about matchups in the playoffs. Urias, Urias, Urias. Yep, base short print for Julio Urias of the Dodgers. Nate McMillan's the coach. Oh, he's nice. I like Nate. Nate. People, pe people forget. Well, I know him from his uh, supersonic days back with Ray Allen and uh, and what's his name, Rashad, uh, Rashard. Richard, I can't even think of his last name right now. Richard Lewis? Yankees Gary Sanchez. That's an action image. Zero one on that. That's pretty sweet. I don't know, man. Listen, I live in Miami, and, you know, we don't have state taxes down here. And we, you know, you we don't really pick up that many free agents. I mean, I lied. Okay, yeah, we do, but you know, I don't know, dude. I'd go play in or I'd play in Oklahoma as long as Russell's still out there. As long as Russell's out there, I will go hoop with the Thunder. And they, like, their fan base seems, like, really, really, really passionate, which is awesome, you know? I would not mind going to play for them. It's like every game is sold out out there. I mean, ain't shit else to do, I guess, but still. It's nice to see them support their team. All right, we got a box topper there. We're only on box number three, people. Let me check something. Yep, still got six spots left on the uh, on that thing right there on the PY Tizzle. All right, Chase, have a good night, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Very true, Mike, very true. I wouldn't mind playing in Oklahoma. I mean, as far as the city's concerned, yeah, there's probably nothing to do. But... I'm like, I'd be the king of Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go, my meals are paid for. I ain't paying for nothing. 
I run Oklahoma. But listen, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm calling it right now. Let there be no surprises when this happens. Mark my words that at least one, maybe two, but at least one major free agent is signing with the Heat this offseason. I'm, I'm hearing that LeBron is seriously considering coming back to Miami. Which makes sense. I mean, why would you go to any other team out there? You know, I don't think LeBron wants to be one of those players that, like, you know, hops around. He's already done. He, he, he fulfilled his promise with Cleveland. Won them a championship. They obviously can't surround him with, with, with talent out there. Because who the fuck wants to play for Dan Snyder? And, not Dan Snyder. Dan Gilbert. And, you know, in that crappy organization he's running out there. So LeBron, come on back to Miami. I would like to see Damian Lillard come to Miami. Damian Lillard in the East Coast, he would be destroying people out here. And with the Miami Heat, it's a good fit. It's a good fit. We got a nice young team. Add D. Lillard. And one more, we going to be a problem. I was saying Paul George for a while. You know, a D. Leonard, Paul George coming to Miami would be nice. But Paul George, I don't know, man. I don't know about Paul George sometimes. I feel like he doesn't put in max effort every night. And I need that. I need that from my, from my boy. Yeah, I don't think LeBron is coming back to Miami. I mean, just being honest, I don't think he is. Although I could, it, it, may, it would make sense for him to come to Miami. No state tax. He's played here before. He knows that Pat Riley and the organization is going to surround him with with players to make him competitive. You know, we're not going to sit around and just wait for things to happen. We go and make moves. You know? And we're about competing, man. When we lost D-Wade, Chris Bosh, and LeBron, and all them boys, when the super team left, the Heat were still competitive. I mean, yeah, we weren't winning championships, but, you know, we'd still go out and try to win a game. You know, we're not going to tank just to try to get a, you know, a good player down here. That's not what we're about, you know. And, and I think that's, I think that speaks volumes throughout the NBA. All right, so we have for the Red Sox, Chris Sale. These are the purple variations. Purple variations aren't numbered or anything like that. They're about one per case. The he have a really good young talent, man. Whiteside and uh and Adebayo are are pretty decent. And people are sleeping on Adebayo. They really are. Nelson Cruz Mariners. It's a base short print. Shin Su Chu Rangers. Dude, could you imagine a LeBron Whiteside pick and roll? Unstoppable. Kenta Maeda, the Dodgers purple. Flashback, rot her. Got to random those. I have yet to come across anything that's like, <gasps> so let's hit that. For the D-bag, Zach Grinke. My butt's starting to go numb. Our pool holes are the angels with that purple stuff. Base short print for Christian Arroyo. Rays. Davers is a short print. Yeah, it's the action image. Good call. Good call. Action image right there for Davers. See, I am not perfect. 
but luckily I have people that are. And they will not hesitate to let me know. Hey, dude, you missed one. Thank you, D. Simmons. I appreciate that. Bradley Zimmer, Indians, purple. Flashback for the sound barrier deal there. That'll get random, of course. Dallas Keuchel, Astros. Oled means Diaz, Cardinals. No, I'm sorry. Yadier Molina. Cardinals. Still learning my players, you know. Key, I, I do not watch baseball, but I will this season. I think. Hopefully, the Marlins make it worth my while. Nationals. Daniel Murphy, purple. Corey Kluber, Indians, purple. Wilson Contreras, purple for the Cubs. eBay people get nice stuff, Mike. Not as often, but they do. Manny Machado, Orioles, purple. Martin Perez. Base short print right there for the Rangers. I catch some of them, but not all of them. Of you know, only human. Javi Baez are the Cubs with that purple stuff. Mancini of the Orioles purple. Mancini Orioles purple. There you go, Tomas. You let him know. You let him know. I th I'm surprised you're still in here, dude. I'm surprised anybody's still in here that's not in this break. Heavy bias Cubs purple. Joey Votto Reds. The black border on that. Makes it a uh, a short print, I believe. They're, those are like numbered to 50. From what I hear, anyway. Bradley Zemo, purple, Indians. I think the Scooter Gennett is a base short print. It is. For the Reds, base short print. Tomas, use a real one. Plus, there's the possibility that the full caser might break tonight. Stefan Strasburg Nationals. That is... Yep, there's that. Deckel for the Phillies. Hoskins. Chris Davis, A's. Patch for Andrew McCutcheon of the Pirates. You know, Heritage is, is really, really hard to hit. But if you get one of those rookie variations or error cards or one something like that, and you get the right one, it could be major dollars for you. But, you know, the truth, the truth could be said. That, that, the same could be said about pretty much anything, honestly. Stadium Strasburg Nationals, for example. Uh, the Altuve art card. I'm not. I think that was out of series one. I don't think it was out of heritage. Uh, Sims and Albies of the Braves, the rookie stars, Chrome. That's number to nine nine nine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. It was out of. Yeah, it was out of series one. I'm. I'm about ninety nine percent sure that Altuve art card was out of series one. Chris Davis of the A's, the purple stuff. A base short print for Eduardo Rodriguez. No autos yet. Lindor, the Indians, purple.
Kyle Schwarber, Cubs, purple. Bay Shore Print, Alex Reyes, Cardinals. And Miguel Cabrera, Tigers purple. There are autos in this stuff. It's just extremely hard to hit them. Uh, there's about two autographs per case. The boxes say either an autograph or a relic per box. Uh, but after having done about three cases of this stuff, actually I think I've done four cases in total. This would be the fourth case. Um, in a case, it's, it's averaging at least two autographs per case. So it is it is hard. You don't say it. It says a real one autograph or relic card in every box. Um, the keyword in this is or because they throw more patches in than they do autographs. Tomas, it, it is what it is, man. I'm down. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Let's sell out that PYT number two. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. Only on box four right now. And I'm doing kind of decent. Tomas, I, I heard that. I heard that. I mean, listen, I, I, I got to make this paper, dog. I got to make this cheese, bro. Monster Hunter ain't going nowhere. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. Somebody's got to do it, Tomas. Somebody's got to do it. I don't want to go back to that 9 to 5 lifestyle. But this this is going to be like a make or break year for me, honestly, man. If, if, if I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. This is going to be a make or break year for me, man. If I, if I don't see, like... Some kind of positive trend. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life, Tomas. I might, I might take the Civic and drive all the way out to San Diego, and uh, and be homeless out there. <laughs> what, what is it? America's most beautiful place, or whatever. That's what it's called. America's finest city. What makes it America's finest city? Why is San Diego, as I like to call it, in, you know, instead of San Diego, why is it why is it known as America's finest city? Dude, Tomas, I can see a hurricane coming. I cannot see an earthquake coming. How, I don't know how y'all deal with earthquakes, seriously. Like, the shit just happens. You know, at least I have a week a week's notice that a hurricane's coming. You know what I mean? Oh, look. It's like, oh, okay. There it is. Way off in the distance. Okay. I got a week to decide whether I'm going to leave or stay. Whereas an earthquake, plate tectonics has no schedule. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, let's uh, get on with these plate tectonics here. Yeah, I, c I cannot deal with earthquakes, bro. I dude, I would I would freak out during an earthquake. I what what you can't even do anything. It's not like you can hold on to anything. I mean, I guess that's I don't even know what this what like what do you do? Base short print for Raimel Tapia Rockies. Deco for a Med Rosario Mets. We're about a third way through with this thing. It's it's only taking me about forty minutes. At this rate, I might be done by three in the morning. Oh, that's right. I forgot that they're charging, uh, or they're they're hiring homeless to clean the streets. Carlos Correa, the Astros to 100, the patch, or the patch, the little mini, I should say. Tell me something good. Uh, Jose Altuve of the Astros of the Patch. The world champion Astros. How has the city been since, you know, the whole earthquakes, and not the earthquake, since the hurricane, has the city of Houston, you know, recuperated? Because some of the pictures I've seen on the internet were ridiculous, man. Bradley Zimmer of the Indians. That Chromie for the homie, number to 999. There's the rookie variation for Ahmed Rosario, the Mets. It's actually an action image, code 01. Oh yeah, Troy. Are you are you alright though? Did you like did you lose the house and stuff, man? Cause I remember that hurricane didn't really do much in South Florida, but like as far as the keys, dude, the keys are still fucked. Like you go to the keys now and then like you it's it's completely different. Uh anyway, Bryce Harper, Deco for the Nationals. You know, I hear Puerto Rico still is still mostly without electricity, which is crazy. For the Rockies, Deco, Arenado. All right, that's the third box. Actually, the fourth box, I'm lying. We're a third of the way through. Yeah, see, like the West Coast, y'all deal with crazy stuff. Earthquakes and brush fires and shit. I'm, I'm cool with dealing with fucking earthquakes and crocodiles down here. Oh, and pythons. We got those, too. That's a new addition.
Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you and your fam are are good, Troy. Uh, Cause, dude, I would see pictures of like the highway in Houston, and even that shit was filled with water, dude. I was I was seeing, and I don't know if it was photoshopped or not, but I seen pictures of like people on their canoe, or, like on canoes or whatever, with like sharks swimming right next to them on the fucking highway. I was like, what? How the hell? Damn, Troy, how'd you react to that? First week there, and you and you got hit by a hurricane. I mean, an earthquake. What do you do? You just you just gotta let it go. You just ri let it ride, huh? I mean, what can you do? <laughs> I can only imagine, Troy. I can only imagine. Need to hit a big time auto here. Good to hear, good to hear. Man, hurricanes hell to the no. Ooh, shout it. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm glad the Astros won the World Series. The city needed that pick me up, you know? Did he really, Troy? I seen I seen some rappers come out and talk shit about J.J. Watt, saying that you know he wasn't really like helping out or nothing. Like I don't know, I didn't really invest any any of my time into that. No, but I, I heard like Houston Houston rappers were coming out saying that, oh, J.J. Watt ain't doing shit for us, blah, 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 blah. Or he ain't doing nothing for the city of Houston. I mean, I don't know. I'm asking y'all. He raised $30 million plus? Damn, that's awesome. Is he actually putting that money to good use, though, or is it just chilling somewhere in a in a Sw in a Swiss bank account under an alias for JJ Watt? Yeah, I was I was hearing about that one dude that ran a uh, this big ass fucking what's it called? He has like this big old um, he runs like a church. He has like one of these mega churches, and he wasn't allowing people to go inside his church, which is like complete, total, and utter bullshit. The Bellinger's base, yeah. That is an action shot. Brad Ziegler, the Marlins. Joel Osteen, yeah, that, yep. That sounds like a piece of shit's name. Be short print there for the Marlins. Man, dude. How do you claim to be a man of God, but yet you won't help when help is desperately needed? Like, come on, man. 
Ian Kennedy Royals. That black border means it's nice. Exactly, Mike. Exactly. Which begs the question. Are people still going to his church? Ryan Brown of the Brewers with the base short print. Man, that is, that is just messed up. Watch Homeboy's going to die. He's going to go to the pearly gates. And he thinks he's going to get in. And then God's going to be like, oh, hold up, dog. You remember that one time in Houston when that, Eric King, that hurricane came through? Like, you ain't do shit. Remember that? Like, oh, no, nah, you got to go down. You're you going down. That would be hilarious. By the way, the Yomer Sanchez of the White Sox is a base short print, code 85. Have yet to hit an autograph and have yet to hit like an error card or like nickname card. And I need to see something major happen like ASAP. Seriously. Nope. Should I stay or should I go? Hmm. Jake Arrieta. Nope. Can't, can't get them all. Mookie Betts of the Red Sox with the Deco. Nelson Cruz. What about the Moncada? Tampoco. Dang. Hanley. A former Marlin player. We've had so many good players come out, come through the Marlins. We just can't hold any talent. Brian of the Cubs with the Deco. It's a Clint Fraser action image of the Yankees. Harper of the Nationals with the chrome that's numbered 1099. Neither am I, Troy. Neither am I. For the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger with a patch. There you go, Dodgers. A little patch. Not even halfway through this stuff. All right, there's that. That's box number five just then. We're approaching the halfway marker. Numero CX. Can we get an autograph finally? I mean, damn. It's been half a case. Alrighty. 
box topper, which again we ran them at the end. Right, D Simmons. I mean, they trust me. There are autographs. Extremely rare to hit, though. Like I said, about twelve per. I mean, two per case and twelve boxes. That's you. That's one in six. So a one in six shot at an autograph, and this would be number six right here. So let's do it. Let's prove to D. Simmons that there are indeed autographs in this. And while we're at it, let's make it an Otani. So he can be a fan for life. When does the regular season start for baseball? In April, dag. I thought it started like by the end of this month. Ah, after March Madness, which is low key my favorite time of year. College basketball gets so hype. Oh, and I'm really looking forward to this year's uh, March Madness business. The Miami Hurricanes are the number three seed. And we have a bye the first two first two games. My hurricanes are in the tournament. And hurricanes have actually been playing pretty good this year. Miami slowly, slowly, slowly turning into a uh, a basketball program. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have in this six box. Make it hot. I think that in Alaska is a base short print. I kind of just passed through it like all nonchalant. Yep, of course I'm right. Ricky Alaska Angels base short print. You know this year, like as far as college basketball, I think you can honestly say that pretty much anybody in that tournament could win it. Like there's there is no team that like stands out and is like, yep, those those boys are gonna are gonna win it. For a while there, Oklahoma was doing their thing, and now uh, that the uh, that that guard that they have, I keep I don't I forget his Trey Young, I think is his name. Lately, he's been kind of on a slump. Should be interesting. 
Ballinger Deckel for the Dodgers. Can we get something insanely nice here? Javi Baez of the Cubs, the Chrome. That is number two, five sixty-nine. Boom, right there. Bryce Hoskins of the Phillies, the rookie card variation. That's a zero one. That's an action image for the Phillies. That's pretty sweet. Buster Posey of the Giants, the Chrome, number to nine nine nine. Nothing there. Got another one. Yep, Scooter Gannett, Bay Sharp Print, Reds. That guy kills me with that picture. I am not a crook. For the Cardinals. Not sure what that vision that is. But there you go. Dick Hughes. With the Blue Ink on card auto. I told you there's autographs in this D. Simmons. Just incredibly hard to hit. One in six. I was one in six boxes, about two per KC. Your boy, your boy knows the stuff. Kinda does look like Charlie Sheen. He kinda does. From uh what was it from Major League or Minor League, whatever it's called. Dick was the NL rookie of the year in sixty seven. Hey. There you go. That's pretty sweet for the Cardinals. There you go. Got an autograph. Keep it going. Yo, Tomas, you're you're pretty decent at those comparisons, dog. Alex Reyes of the Cardinals with the uh, base short print. You know, you got you got CBJ with the Dilly Dilly guy. You got Bates looking like Canelo. What? What? Do me. Do me. What do I? What do I look like? What do I look like? And 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 the funnier the better. So hold hold nothing back. Martin Perez of the Rangers with the base short print. Miss me with that bullshit. Another base short print, Christian Arroyo or the Rays. Dude, Tomas, honestly, I cannot wait. That's gonna be my vacation. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna be. I don't. I don't have vacation time. You know, I, I gotta put the team on my back right now. Uh, my boy, my boy CBJ just had a baby, so he's he's not gonna be going live that often. So I, you know, gotta put in that work. A judge with the deco for the Yankees. Random that. All right, that's one box now. What do you mean, Tomas? Oh, okay, never mind. I know, I'll, I'll, yeah, because I was talking shit. I was like, what about me? You know, I talk so much that I, I just, I'll be forgetting. Dude, we're halfway through. We've done six boxes, Troy. 
We are halfway through this monster of a, of a break. And I've been doing this for, what, an hour now? Solid. A good solid hour. I think I started this at, like, 1 in the morning. It's now 2.04. 2.05, make that. And we still got six more to go. Alright, Mike, have a good one, my dude. Later. Is that how you say Michael in Spanish, Miguel? I always wondered that. You just you just you just gave him the name and then and just boom done deal. Yeah, the national is in August. What month are we in? We're in March, April, May, June, July. Oh, five months from now, well, less than that, right? April, May, June, July, August. Corretear. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Well, the direct translation, anyway. O perseguir. That's another one. That's the literal translation of chase. In my books, which is the which is the books that count, Tomas. Those are the books that count. Charlie, bait me, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, why couldn't it be like that other night? We what was it? Friday? That I was busting a full caser of this shit, and the chat was like popping. Mainly because you guys were being bullies or whatnot. I mean, I don't know. I don't really care. That shit was hilarious. That shit was funny AF. I can make a dummy account? Don't do that. Don't do that. Because then I'm going to be lost as fuck. Miss me with that bullshit. Yeah, I try we tried to explain it to Jason a little bit on Saturday, but he was like super lost. You know what? And I feel for him, yo, because like I don't you know, I don't think he's ever bought into anything with us. But you know, when he comes in, you know, at least he talks to me, you know what I'm saying? Like we have a conversation or whatever. Which is cool for my sanity. Um, but yeah, once dude, he he kinda brought it onto himself. You know, we, we call that down here in Miami, we call that flogging. Or some some of uh, some other parts of the country maybe call it flossing, or he, he was he was he was he was lying basically basically trying to make himself seem like somebody he's not, and the internet will catch you every time. 
I just, like I said, I felt bad for the dude because I've never had an issue with him. You know, whatever. You wanna you wanna say that you're a fucking semi pro football player? Okay, whatever, dude. I don't care. I really don't. But then you know, you guys took it up a notch. <laughs> that was funny, man. That was funny. Listen, no, nobody cares if you're a semi pro. Just just be you. Altuve of the Astros with the Deco. Yeah, he he had he had mod status because he's just been ever since I've been breaking, he's been around. You know, because I I inherited the channel from Jason. You know, Chris Davis of the A's with a patch. Exactly, he was flexing way too much, way too much. Like. You just, you just don't do that. You just don't do that. Unless, of course, you are who you say you are. At which at which point, you don't need the floss. Because, like, who cares? Base short print for Jose Urena. Marlins. I just thought it was funny how, like, everybody, like, went in on him. Like, people that don't even chat were, like, coming out the woodworks, like, putting in their two cents. Which I just, I thought that was great. I thought that was great. We might need to do that from now on. We I might need to have, you know, set up a dummy account where I just go on and just talk mad shit and get, you know, people excited in the chat. Uh, for the flashback, Puppet Mania. Were you there that night, Troy, last Friday? I don't know what the fuck he said, but he was talking some nonsense. I mean, he, he's been told me that he was like a, uh, a semi-pro football player. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever, bro. You know, because honestly, I don't care. I really don't care. But, like, he kept he kept trying to say that, you know, he was going to be called up to, to play AAA baseball and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just like Tomas is saying, for the Astros, Jose Altuve, the Chrome, that's number to 999. Yeah, homeboy came in here straight talking mad trash, saying, yeah, you know, I'm trying to decide whether I should be, continue playing football, or should I sign a contract and be, uh, you know, go to the AAA. Because the Tigers and the Marlins offered me a contract to play AAA ball, but I don't know what I'm going to do. So, of course, people just being naturally who they are in the room, they're like, oh, yeah, dude, well, what's your name, you know? I want to look you up, man. I want to see some highlights, uh, uh, you know? I want to see if you are who you say you are. And then he kept start he, he started throwing names out, and then people, of course, copy and paste, doing the old Google search, and, oh, dude, so you're, so you're such and such, blah, 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 blah. And then that's when the, the shit show started. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much came off as a clown, Troy, basically. And like I said, man, I feel for the guy because, you know, I've never had an issue with him as far, like, I really have never had a problem. I'm not saying that's a problem, but like, come on, man. Why you gotta lie, dog? Like, seriously. Like, who who are you trying to impress right now? Max Scherzer are the Nationals with a deckel. I am, dude, I'm pretty good at at holding my emotions in. Until I reach a tipping point, and then I just let everything out at once. But I, 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 I did my, I, I don't know. Uh, it, it was, it was a combination of me being really tired and and, and hungry and and all that. To my house. Uh, Bryce Harper of the Nationals. That is a, a short print because of the uh, border around it. I believe makes it numbered to fifty. Quite a few things to random. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys did a number on that dude. I wouldn't be surprised if I if I never see him again. I really wouldn't, cause you guys, man, you guys sacrificed that dude to the cardboard gods. Well, listen, Tomas, that's what we do. That's what Hispanics do. We 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 like to stir the pot. You feel me? Make that sancocho, dog. Do you guys eat sancocho? 
That's that's a Colombian thing. But have you ever heard of that, Tomas Sancocho? Another box topper. I'm not sure if the box toppers are autographed, but from what I hear, the buyback 1969 cards do have autographs in them. Well, Sancocho is basically it's it's soup, you know, but with like everything in it. We're talking corn, three different kind of meats, poultry, pork, steak, like beef. Potatoes, all just anything you can think of, it goes in it. It's in there. Soups are big in the Hispanic community. Soups are big in the Hispanic community. Cazuela. That sounds. That sounds kind of cool. I wouldn't mind having me a little Mexican girlfriend, but they're a little crazy. I was messing around with this one Mexican chick, and like she just she just started getting too intense for me. Like she wanted to get into a relationship, and like blah 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 blah. I'm like, damn girl, I'm just starting to get to, I'm just getting to know you, and like, you trying to be my girlfriend already? Like, the fuck? But, you know, but we're still cool, you know. I like her pic her pictures on Instagram. She likes mine. You just dumped a chick that wanted a kid. Oh, no. I don't remember hearing about that one, Tomas. I do not remember hearing about that one. Well, at least she at least she told you, Tomas. You know, she she could have put a, a hole in your condom or whatever, and then boom, baby. Nine months later, she could have hit you with that one, or she could have hit you with the old, oh yeah, I'm on the pill, and then boom, you're in there raw raw dog and smashing that thing, making her, you know, filling her up like a Twinkie. And then the next thing you know, boom. You got you got a you got a full on chocolate cake being being baked in that oven. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Tomas, we got plenty of time, dog. Time is something I got. And well, well, you're what two three hours behind? So what time is it? It's fucking what is it? Midnight where you're at? No, not even. It's like eleven. It's eleven eighteen where you're at, I think. Man, that time difference is a mother, boy. That's, that's, yep, yep, tell me about it. That is how it's, I can't tell you how many friends I've lost with, because of that. Girls just can't, they, they can't let their, they, their emotions are always involved. Me, I can disassociate myself from all that. I can... I could be really cold blooded. Anyways, let's see a cold blooded autograph come out for somebody here. Come on, let's 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 spice things up here. Where's the hotness? Where is the hotness? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Mm. I ran on that. That too, the flashback guard. Oh no, Tomas. Oh no. Damn, you must have that you must have that one hit a quitter, you know what I'm saying? 
You must have hit her with that. The good old, good old. There's a base short print. Logan Morrison of the Rays. Well, damn, you didn't have to do all that. You didn't have to do her that dirty. But you just could You could have just been like, nah. Ah, <laughs> uh, they don't like that one. Todd Frazier of the Yankees with the base short print. I would have just been like, nah. <laughs> that's my go-to. That's that's my, I suck my teeth and then I make a face and then like they already know. What is this? Rizzo by the Cubs with the deco. Dude, I haven't met, dude, I've been, I've been dry for like the last year, bro. I've been just, I've been, I've been ducking and dodging them. I, I ain't trying, I don't want no, I don't want nothing, dog. I don't want nothing. Ian Kinsler of the Tigers of the Patch. I'm at that point, dog, where I'm like, I either want it all or I don't want any at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I am, I am, it's not up for negotiation. Miguel Cabrera, the Tigers, with the uh, refractor. That's number to 569. See right there. Come on. Let me hit something nice for somebody. Davers, the Deckel for the Red Sox. Are those Deckel cards, like, are they going for money at all? Probably not, but you know, curiosity here. Gotta random that. And that. There you go, Tomas. That's yes. Do, do you have any kids, Tomas? I don't think I've ever asked you. But you know me. I'm, I'm single, ready to mingle. Ain't got a damn thing going on. Officially, like... Like, I got this one chick that be texting me from time to time. You know... Oh, your boy get bored, so I'll be hitting her back, but, like, no. No. So I just, I just stopped talking to everybody. Dude, I'm waiting for, like, an insane card to come out. A fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like an Otani or something crazy good. For the Brewers, Hernan Perez, the base short print. Yeah, the patches are pretty, pretty not, you know, not colorful. It's definitely not an easy product to hit, but, but what this stuff is all about, it's all about the variations and the short prints. But you know that, D. Simmons. Oh, you think this was bad, D. Simmons? Oh, dude. Uh, you should have seen... Uh, what was it? I think I did a case on Friday that didn't have a single autograph. Or actually, I lied. I think it did have one autograph, but it was like... Pfft. See, at least the Dick Hughes, that's, that's, a, that's a dope... That's a dope-looking card. It's, it's old school, you know? Oh, damn, no. In that case, hold on to that one for, for generations to come, that Cardinals auto. <laughs> now, hopefully there's a, some kind of craziness lurking in these last four boxes because I ain't going to lie, it's been tough. I can only imagine it's been tough to watch because it's, it's not exactly the funnest break to do. 
I'm, I am right there with you, Tomas. They either end up somewhere in the toilet or on a dirty sock somewhere. You got got to be positive, D Simmons. I'm hoping something nasty happens here for somebody at this point. Got three boxes left after this. Almost done. <laughs> At this point, D Simmons, probably yeah. You would you would have got the warmth of the of the two hundred and fifty fire too. Well, you mean later tonight, Tomas? You mean later tonight, right? Because tomorrow would technically be Wednesday. Hopefully there's there's an Otani in here lurking for you. Even if it's a base Otani, it it pretty much paid for its spot. Yeah, I'm surprised the uh not at all, Tomas. No. I mean I've had my I've had a few scares here and there, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I've had my scares, but no, luckily no. I'm trying to do something here, D Simmons, because it's been tough. I'm not even on front. Yeah, it is it is not looking good. It is not looking good. But hopefully both of our positivity can can, can, can get something to come out of here that'll at least make it worth our while. I'm hoping, you know, one of those buyback cards has an autograph in there. From what I hear, uh, Reggie Jackson has autographs in there for the A's. Which, I don't know if that does you any good, Dennis. Because you got the AL West. I don't even know what teams are in that division. Aside from the the, the Angels, of course. Well, we got the Astros, Rangers, Mariners. and the, Oh, okay. So the A's would be something good, then. Troy feels something coming. Is it going to be an NL West? A Dodger, Giant, Padre, D-back, or a Rocky? Let's hope so. All right, here we go. Verdugo and Bueller with the Rookie Star Chrome. That's number to 999. Come on. There's a big short print for Jury's Familia Mets. I'm about to write a very angry letter to the Tops and be like, hey, this case you gave me was bullshit. Yadier Molina, Cardinals. And they're going to hit me with the good old, good old, well, you know, you, you know. Watch a letter Nimoy autograph or something come out. Felix Hernandez of the Mariners with the black border on that. There's probably a bunch of short prints that I didn't catch. Error cards and, and whatnot. So there's that to look forward to. Alright. 
going to the Brewers. Ryan Braun to 99. Ooh, got a little piece of the Majestic on there. I think. That's kind of, or Russell Athletics logo, maybe? I don't know. There you go, Brewers. Patch to 99. There's some of those cards with, like, with like, uh, I seen one with a dime in it. Lindor, the Indians with the deco. Apparently, there's also uh, relics with like quarters in them and stuff. From 1969. Not sure if that's worth anything. Rice Hoskins of the Phillies. Deco. I mean, no, it's only been, what, 50 years since uh, 69, more or less? Man, that's crazy when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, D. Simmons, it's, it's, it's not been, not been nice. I'm, I'm holding out hope, though, holding out hope. Lance Lynn of the Cardinals. With the short, uh, with the base short print. Nolan Arenado, the Rockies, with an action image card. Three boxes left. Cardboard guides. Can you stop playing with us now? We've gotten this far. Can we make these last three boxes like super stupid dumb fire? To make up for the, for how booty the rest of the case has been? Please? Pretty please? With a cherry on top? Appreciate it. Well, yeah, Tomas, been, I've been, uh, I am no stranger to the Plan B pill. Not proud of it, but, you know, it is what it is. We got that. You know what though, Tomas? It was not. It wasn't even. It wasn't my decision. You know. It wasn't my decision. So. You know, I could. I can only do so much. You know, I, I, I was supportive. I was supportive. You know, I, I manned up. I was like, listen, if you want to keep it, keep it. We'll make this work somehow. You know. I'll support you whatever you decide. You know, she she cried, I cried, you know, we had had our little moment, you know, blah blah blah. And you know, and then she decided that, you know, not to keep it.
Can there be fire, please? Well, Troy, uh, I mean, we got nothing but time, you know what I'm saying? So... Uh, basically, a friend of mine got me into this as far as the company. Uh, I started off as a sorter. You know, I would sort the cards, you know, I would sort the breaks, and I'd do the shipping and things like that. I did that for, for about a year, or a little less than a year. And then, uh, you know, it was decided that I would go to the National. This was about two years ago, by the way. So I went to the National in Atlantic City two years ago, and we have, you know, we, no, I'm not sure if you've ever been to the National, Troy, but, you know, there's a bunch of booths, and, uh, you know, all the big, you know, all the big names, Tops, Upper Deck, Panini, Leaf, TriStar, you know, et cetera, et cetera, everybody's out there, you know? So my job was... To sort the breaks, because we would, you know, we have, there's a breakers pavilion where uh, a lot of the big name breakers go to the national and break live at the national and stuff. So that's what we were doing. And, you know, at the time I was a sorter. So I would just sort the breaks. You know, we had a, a little office right, right, right next to there. So, you know, I'd run out, grab a break, bring it back to the little office we had. Um, it was me and like, couple other uh, sorters and we would just sit in our office and just sort the entire day right so this one particular day um, it was really busy uh, Victor Robles deco here for the Nationals so one one day it was super busy uh, but we couldn't get people to come to our booth, like, or, or at least stop in, on our booth and, like, you know, interact with the, with the breakers or, or anybody, really. So we started, we started trying to figure out, like, what we could do to bring more people into the, uh, into our, into our, our booth, basically. So me being the most personable of all. Of like of all the sorters here in the office, I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, no problem. You know, I'll try to get more people in. Sang Sang Huang Yo are the Cardinals base short print. So basically, what I started doing was like, all right, well, we had this deal where you know, obviously, you signed up, you save fifteen bucks, whatever, whatever. But we also took it up a notch for the national. We were like, all right, well, you register for an account. Not only are you going to save fifteen dollars on your first purchase, but you're also going to get entered into like a giveaway, right? And nobody knew we were doing the giveaway because everybody, like, was shy to, like, approach people and, you know, and, and get them to come in and things like that. So I was like, well, fuck that. You know, I, I was like, well, fuck it. Let me just do this. So, you know, I took a break from sorting and I went out and I, I put the team on my back. I was like, all right, well, you know, I, I just started talking to people. You know, I would start talking to people to get a, to get them to come to, to our booth. You know, I would, and I would just approach random people. You know, because I, I, I really, I have no shame. I have no problem, of, you know, talking to strangers and approaching them and starting a conversation, whatever, whatever. So it, came, it comes naturally to me, honestly. So I just started chatting people up like, yo, you know, I know you're interested in breaks or cards or whatever because you're here. So, you know, whatever. And I just started getting more and more people to come to our booth. And more people coming to our booth meant we were making more money because you know more people would act, people would actually start to buy into our stuff once they knew the giveaways we were doing so after after a couple hours of like getting more like just fucking killing it crushing it selling out breaks left and right and I wasn't even like I was just bringing people to the booth you know I wasn't like selling anything the breakers did that um so, you know, everybody, like all the partners that we have in this business, they all came together and Gelf, which is like the main dude, approaches me. And he's like, listen, man, 
I'm going to turn you into a breaker. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And he's like, I'm serious. And then he hits me with the seri with his serious face. So I was like, oh, shit, you know, he's dead ass serious. Uh, Young Gary Solarte, Blue Jays. Actually, I need to... I need to look something up for this guy. Um, that's a base short print. Anyways, so he's like, yeah, dude, I'm going to turn you into a breaker. I was like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever, dude. You know, because I didn't really... I didn't really think it was an option for me, honestly. Because uh, at the time, I had, a, I had a pretty decent job. I was working for UPS. I was a, a supervisor. And I was making pretty decent money, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Salvador Perez of the Royals with the deco right there. Dude, I was making pretty decent money. and But I wasn't happy with that job. You know, I I don't want to say I hated my job, but I didn't exactly enjoy going to work. You know, I was good. I was good at what I did. You know, I'm a people person, so I can, I can fucking, you know, talk to people, you know, make them, make them do their job or whatever. Corey Seager, Dodgers deco there. And, you know, he pretty much, after a while of me, I just kept sorting. And the idea just kept floating around in his head of me being a breaker. Where he finally just comes up to me and is like, all right, look, bro. I need you to be a breaker. It's now or never. Are you are you down to do this? And then, I, you know, I thought about it. And I said, fuck it. Let's do it. I quit my job. I, at the time, I had two jobs. I was working at UPS. I was a being. I was a sorter here, but I also worked in um, in, in at a retailer, TJ Maxx. Uh, so I had three jobs at the time, and I was dude. I was bro. I was fucking doing my thing. I was doing it. You know, I was I was chilling, but I wasn't happy. You know, I was working seven days out the week. I wasn't, I wasn't happy, you know, yeah, I had my vacation time and blah, 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 but I, I was, I just was not happy, and, you know, I saw an opportunity here, and I took it, man, I took it, and I've been breaking, this is my, I've been breaking now for a full year, um, so, 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 I started breaking J uh, December of last year, and I really wouldn't call it breaking because for like the first few months, I wasn't, dude, I would just stream for eight to ten hours a day. And I'd be lucky if I broke at least a box. Uh, ben and Tendi refractor to 569 for the Red Sox. And, and then we started doing eBay breaks. Well, actually, I lied. And then after a while, I, just, I started getting the hang of it as far as being a breaker and whatnot. You know, and then I went from doing maybe one case of product in a in a week, and then I started doing you know at least a case every two days, and I just kept slowly improving, 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 and then we started doing eBay stuff, and then I've, it's been doing pretty decent so far. Rich Hill of the Dodgers with the base short print. That's pretty much how I got my start. Just, just I don't know, man. I guess they saw something in me. They they thought I have the personality to like you know chat people up and, and and talk sports and talk shit in general, and just yeah. And I've been doing it ever since. And don't get me wrong, man. I I love what I do. I really do. I look forward to coming into work every day, chatting with you guys. Uh, but it's definitely stressful. Corey Seager of the Dodgers. That's an action image. That's pretty sweet. What I mean by stressful is like, you know, if I don't if I don't sell anything, I don't get paid straight up. So that's that's the only negative about being a breaker really. That and I honestly I I mean I still don't have any time to myself. I mean, I only do one job, but I'm constantly working. You know, when I'm home, I'm I'm looking at other breakers trying to see what I can take from them and, and apply to myself or, you know, I'm trying to think of new things to do, you know, what products should we get, blah, 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 or, you know, I'm, or I'm watching Jason doing his stream, trying to help him out, trying to get the chat popping, like, it's it's a non-stop job, it's non-stop, but I like it, man, I like it, I'm, I'm, I look forward to coming to work, uh, I, I like the challenge of, of trying to sell things to people, um, but yeah, that's more or less how I got my start. 
That's a box topper. Well, listen, this case in particular, yeah, it takes a long fucking time. I mean, can we do? want to do some math real quick? Let's see. In a box of this bitch, we got 24 packs, 9 cards per pack. So 9 times 4 lets you know how many cards are in one box. Multiply that by 12, and we got a full case break. Boom. But yeah, this one in particular just takes a long time because there's a lot of cards. Well, D Simmons, I, I'd be I'd be lying to you if I didn't say, tell you that this is probably up to this point the worst case I've done so far. It's it's gonna take a little miracle to to to, take, to change that. Need to see like an insane autograph, like a, a one of one, like something ridiculous needs to happen. But Troy, let me flip it on you. How long have you been collecting? How long have you been into case breaks and things like that? Because from my understanding, the, the whole case breaking thing is still fairly new. It's It's been about like five or six years or something like that that case breaking has been a thing D Simmons, yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. As bad as this has been, or a nice long break is in order. Really, Troy? Well, hopefully, I got you something good, man. Uh, I, I know you're in this break, dude, but it's been, it's been rough, my dude. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It's been rough. Whoever gets the Yankees spot might probably be able to make some of that money back. Because, you know, I think the Aaron Judge base cards are selling for like $5 a pop. So for every other division, we need, we need greatness to happen here. Oh, that's right. I do remember that. There was the Cepeda Auto. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Old school Cepeda Auto was pretty sick. So I'm glad I got something for you, dude. Hopefully I can get you something in this too, man. I, I definitely don't like skunking for anybody. You know, I, I kind of take it personally a little bit, you know. You guys spend money. The least I can do is hit you something nice. Where you can go and show your kids and be like, look, look what Uncle Jesse pulled for us. And be super happy about it. By the way, Tomas, I just I read what you put in the chat there, and uh, I gotta say, <clears throat> you should have kept that one around. I know, right, D Sims? Usually it's just like a few teams, but right now it's rough. Hopefully, hopefully these last two boxes have like insane heat hiding in it. And uh, let's find out, shall we? Alright, just looking at the stack. It doesn't look like there's a relic in here, which means we might get an autograph, people. Alright, let's find out. Yeah, that's that's usually what the pill will do to you. I can't tell you how many girlfriends I've had that once they start to get on the pill, they just they for a lack of a better word, get fucking nuts. This is what is this? I think this is like a Is this a short print? I think this might be a that magenta background kind of well it is a different color on the background. I don't know. That's, that's weird. Tanner Roark Nash. I don't know. I butchered that name. 
I'm holding out hope here for somebody. All we need is the right card. For this one, right? The flip stock? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But it doesn't have a number on there, which is weird. For the Giants, Buster Posey, the Deckle. Brandon Phillips of the Angels with the base short print. I, I wish they would just number it for dummies like me. Very Brady debut. Something about that smile. Base short print. What did she what did she do, Tomas? Now I'm interested. Drew Smiley of the Cubs with the base short print. You have you have garnered my interest, sir. Michael Conforto of the Mets. The Chromie. Nice Elvis Andrus Rangers Chrome. That's number to nine nine nine. Somebody come out to play a big card. Come on now, baby. For the D-backs, Paul Goldschmidt. That's, yep. We gotta look out for the old go girlfriends, uh, Tomas. But of all, you know, I used to actually date this one chick. She had like zero friends, and that's even worse. Correa, Astros, Deco. Yeah, you, dude. I was saying it in the chat earlier. Canelo got caught doping, dog. For the Reds, there's an autograph. Tyler Male. Of the Reds on card auto. Rookie card too. There you go, Reds. Cardinals and Reds with autographs right now. You don't like Canelo? I thought that was your peeps. Now I'm hoping there's a third autograph in that last box that we got to coming up here. Votto of the Reds with the Deco card. And we have come to the last box. Oh, I hope there is heat lurking. See what's in this last box. Oh, 
Uh oh, a little hit quake. Camera shaking. Yeah, I uh, I remember that fight he had against Mayweather, and Mayweather just took that dude to boxing school, man. Sixty nine, hopefully, an autograph on one of those buybacks. Last box mojo, and it's only taken us what two hours to get here, more or less. I'm all about that triple G, dog. Triple G don't play. Triple G's a monster. You know who else is pretty decent too? Lomachenko. Lomachenko is a fucking stud. You know I don't I don't have too many boxing fans in here. I fucking love boxing. It's been it's been like I I don't want to blame Floyd Mayweather, but I kind of want to. As far as the decline of boxing, because man. Right now, not because I'm hungry or anything like that, but because of the stress of how crap this case has been. I'm hoping there's some kind of redemption in this last box here, or in one of those box toppers or buyback slides, or hopefully I skipped over like a super disgusting, ridiculous short print, you know, and I didn't catch it. I doubt it, but hopefully. All right, Tomas, have a good night, man. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did, dude. I appreciate you. All right, Tomas, appreciate you for everything, my dude. Stay safe. Get a good night's rest and all that. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Or later today, I should say. And tomorrow, because I'll be here too. Let's be with that bullshit. Alright. Last box mojo. Let's make it hot. Please. At least an Otani or something to make it worth our while. I mean, God dang. For the Phillies, Williams and Hoskins. Rookie stars. Actually, what's this number two? To 69. Giggity. Base short print of Kelvin Herrera. For the Royals. Got a Mike Trout action image for the Angels.
Paul Goldschmidt, D backs, Deckel Edge, come on, give us something good. Sanchez, Deckel, Yankees. All the Giants there. Come on. Last stack here. We got a patch up front going. So the Rangers, Joey Gallo, the patch. Mike Trout Rangers. Anytime I see those cards backwards, I just assume they're like something. Last stack, redeem yourself. I'll see this Escobar, the Royals, the short print. Flashback card there. And that was the break. Wow, that was... That was indeed tough to see. I apologize for how, how damn that was bad. D. Simmons, J. Colo, Troy G., Jeremy, Gary, and Edward. Those of you guys in this break, I truly, truly apologize for how crap that was. That was pretty bad. There's still the box toppers and stuff to go through. So let's do that. Let's start with the box stoppers. We have for the Orioles on the back, Manny Machado. Cardinals, Mets, and Tigers on the front. I agree 10 times over, D. Simmons. This shit makes me want to not be a breaker anymore. For the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger on the back. D-backs, Cardinals, Mets on the front. I will random those, of course. Seriously, like, who puts this stuff together? Like, man. Angels, Trout on the back. Cardinals, Royals, Rangers on the front. Marlins back. Blue Jays, D backs, Brewers on the front. I wonder if they if they ever have put like a an Otani on one of those box toppers. That would be insane. Ahmed Rosario on the front and the Mets. Giants, Reds, Braves on the front. And last but not least, Chris Bryant and the Cubs on the back. Indians, Rockies, Braves on the front. And our last chance at saving grace right here. Hopefully, there's fire. So we have Dave Moorhead of the Royals. That's kind of cool. Dave went to the same high school that Ted Williams attended. That's kind of cool, I guess. These are actual cards from 1969. That's kind of nuts. 
I heard that there were actually, like, there's Reggie Jackson autographs in these, apparently. I'll believe it when I see it. But that's what I heard. Manny Mar Marty Martinez, Houston Astros, I'm assuming. Jim Rowland of the Twins. Actual cards from 69. That's kind of cool, though. That's what I thought so, too, D. Simmons. And then somebody told me, like, no, nah, they're also in the in the 69 packs. I was like, okay, I'll believe it when I see it. Marty Martinez, also for the Astros. What well, says Houston? And last but not least, Jim Rowland of the Twins. Yeah, the odds are zero. I don't well, I don't know. Twice, two of the same dude. What the motherfuck? Yeah, not the greatest, not the greatest case ever. Well, D. Sims, at least you have a good sense of humor. All right, let's separate these because these have to get randomed. Well, D. Simmons, no, no, absolutely not. An apology is in order. I, dude, I apologize for, on behalf of Tops and all their employees, I apologize for how crap this case was, dude. Ridiculous how bad it is. I know it's not my fault, but like honestly, dude, I, I can't help but feel that way. Because at the end of the day, you know, I'm ripping this shit. You know what I mean? But dang, man, this is bad. I don't blame you, D. Simmons. I don't blame you. But listen, hopefully you still come and hang out and stuff. And, you know, talk some shit with us time, to, time and again. But I do not blame you if you never buy into another baseball pack or anything ever again. After how crap this was. Well, look on the bright side. Think of how much money you're going to save now that you're not going to buy into this stuff anymore. All right. That's been sorted there. All right. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and do this uh, randomization deal here. So it's going to be a simple random more or less. Where's my die? Here we go. Day Simmons, that's that is the best way to blow the money. I was I, I don't know I don't know what kind of dude you were. I don't know if you like to party or what, but if you like to party, Coke and Hookers is the best way to blow your money. As, you know, baseball cards aside, right? All right, let's do this random we're going to random for this. If I get an odd number left side, even number right side team. Boom. I rolled the number nine. That's an odd number. So we're going with the left side team. So these go to Cubs, Cardinals, Giants, Pirates, Orioles, A's, Twins, Giants, Cubs, Twins, Twins, Giants, Orioles, Mets. Well, I would say don't blow it on Coke, but definitely on the hookers. Mm -hmm. 
now I'm going to need the randomizer deal. So let's put that up on the screen. I can take that down now. Alright, so now it's for the three teams. Three team cards. It's either going to be left, center, or right. So left, center, and then right. Going nine times in the randoms. Top, you know what, you know what's up. Top team in the list wins the, you know, those cards with three teams on. Nine times. Money shot nine. Boom, it's going to the left side team. So these will go to So we got Marlins, Indians, Dodgers, Dodgers, Marlins, Nationals, Indians, Dodgers, Dodgers, Mariners, Indians, Red Sox, Yankees, Rockies, Rockies, Indians, Red Sox, Yankees, Red Sox, Rockies, Indians. Dodgers, Yankees, Dodgers, Dodgers, Indians, Red Sox, Yankees, Dodgers, Nationals, Marlins, Mariners, Dodgers, Nationals, Indians, Dodgers, Mariners, Marlins, Mariners, Indians, Red Sox, Dodgers, Yankees, Rockies, Marlins, Indians, Nationals, Dodgers, Dodgers, Nationals, Rockies, Indians, Mar uh, Marlins, Dodgers, Dodgers, Nationals, Mariners, Indians, Marlins. And now it's time for the four team deal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's how we're doing this. Nine times, good luck. And the money shot nine. Going to the number one, which is the left side. So the left side winning everything. So this goes to Astros, Astros, Marlins, 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 Astros, Marlins, Astros, Astros, Marlins, Astros. Now let's do the box toppers. On these, we got the left, center, the right, and a team on the back. So that's how we're going to do this thing. We got left, center, right, and on the back. Going nine times, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the money shot, nine. Oh, the right side wins a little something, something. So, box toppers going to the right side team. Meaning, this one goes to Braves. Braves. Brewers. Rangers. Mets. And the Tigers. Am I done with the randoms? No, no, I am not. Uh, where where are these cards? The uh, the flashbacks. Oh, there they go. Now time for the flashbacks. So this one, seeing as how we only had three spots, I mean six spots. That's how I'm going to do the random. We grab the names. Put them there. One of these team, one of these names is gonna get the flashback cards. Top one going nine times. Good luck. And the money shot nine. Congrats to Gary. Gary will be receiving all of the flashback cards. So. All those flashbacks going to Gary. Made a note of that. 
And let's recap this thing. And I ain't gonna lie, it was rough. So to recap it, Gallo Patch, uh, Gallo Rangers, these are the patches, Verlando Astros, Braun Brewers, Kinsler Tigers, Davis A's, Bellinger Dodgers, Altuve Astros, McCutcheon Pirates, Rizzo Cubs, Wright Mets. And we had two autographs in this entire case. One for the Reds, Tyler Male. And for the Cardinals, Dick Hughes. Those were the two autographs in the whole case. And that, my friends, was 2018 Heritage Baseball Random Divisions Full Case Style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.